Hi, I'm Dan Clark, and uh, now we're ready to go into the grind, if you call it. The grind, uh, the race to the end. Um, what we're all waiting for is the end to come. And so now the routine begins of being a Jehovah's Witness. And what that routine looks like is, you know, you show up every day in a suit and tie. Um, you don't come in any less. You always have a suit and a tie because you're representing Jehovah. Um, you're going to make the meetings regularly. You're going to start going out door to door regularly. And you're going to be encouraged always to reach out. You're always encouraged to do more. That, you know, you, if, if we've got a five weekend month, instead of four, we got five, they're going to try to encourage the whole congregation to pioneer, to get 30 hours to 60 hours a month for that month because there's an extra weekend. If you're, uh, um, I'll just go into this, but there's standards that you've got to maintain. You've got to maintain a congregation average. If they set up in your congregation that you need to get 13 hours to be a regular publisher, which means you're healthy or you're doing well, you've got to get 13 hours a month, which means you've got to be out Saturday <clears throat> or Sunday, a couple hours every Saturday or Sunday to meet that mark. If you don't, you lose privileges. Uh, privileges in the organization are working the sound, handling the microphones, reading the watchtower. Everybody wants these privileges because you stand out. You're somebody in good standing. So you want those. But if you don't keep up your hours, if you don't hit 13 hours, you don't get them. You lose them. If you start missing meetings, you lose them. <clears throat> but what I want to talk about um, right now is the guilt that I had about my door-to-door -door witnessing. They always said that we should do all that we could do, that Jehovah only accepts your best. And so it was so weird. I would go out for two hours, and as I was thinking about coming home and getting on with my day on Saturday, I would feel bad. I would feel horrible because I could have went out another hour. I could have went on my return visits. I could have went to more doors. I didn't give Jehovah my best. It was sickening. This haunted me for years in the organization that I never gave Jehovah my best because I've always could have did more. So this is something that you need to know. They're always encouraging more. If you don't comment at the meeting, they're going to counsel you. If you don't join the ministry school, they're going to counsel you. They're going to push you. They're going to say, we really need you. We really think you should join the ministry school and start giving talks. So you're going to have to give talks. You're going to have to go door to door. You're going to have to make your meetings and you're going to have to be regular. And this is the grind. This is what you have to do to be in good standing in the organization. And if you're not in good standing, it's not a good thing. So this is what everybody's going to be rallied around. You're going to be micromanaged by everybody. The elders are always going to be watching you. They're, they're going to be monitoring whether you're progressing or not progressing. And so I just wanted to share some of that, that goings on that, that goes on in the organization. But what I want to get into next is the actual, the actual witnesses actually go into your bedroom. They actually tell you what you can perform, sex with your wife and what not to do and what to do, and males what to do and what not to do. It gets very extreme. And I want to talk about that in my next video. Okay, thanks.